and carrot vermicelli kheer hi we will make pearl millet and carrot vermicelli kheer definitely this is a diabetic friendly low gi dessert okay for this pearl millet and carrot vermicelli kheer let us see the process first let me take a vessel and i am going to add a little ghee but if you think you don't want the ghee you can always it's just optional you can always remove it from your recipe i am going to use the vermicelli and puffed pearl millet okay puffed pearl millet is about 50 grams and this vermicelli carrot vermicelli is 150 grams totally i am going to add 200 grams of this first let me add the carrot vermicelli carrot vermicelli is readily available in the market i am sure even vermicelli is readily available they always say it is roasted or toasted but i prefer to roast myself in slight ghee to give a good flavor okay let me also add this puffed pearl millet Okay once you get a very nice roasted flavor that aroma just we need to add the milk okay for 200 grams that is 150 grams of vermicelli and 50 grams of puff pearl millet i am going to use 1 liter of skimmed milk because of course the recipe is low gi and diabetic friendly so i am going to add a slim cholesterol free milk after pouring the milk just we have to stir if you don't do that there is always a chance that you get clumps at the bottom so nicely stir then let us add the cardamom just press the cardamom or beat the cardamom so that it opens and then i am going to add about 8 cardamom you have to keep stirring so that the milk cooks the vermicelli and the puffed pearl millet and make a nice kheer since we have added the cardamom very well in advance the cardamom also can emit its good nice flavor and blend well with the milk and the vermicelli and the pearl millet and makes a nice flavoring kheer once the vermicelli is almost cooked i have used 100 grams of diabetic sugar then i am going to add two nuts here it's up to your choice it's optional but i am going to use two diabetic friendly nuts one is the walnut and one is the raisins but normally you can also add cashew nut but definitely cashew nut is not a very calorie friendly nuts okay i'm going to add this walnut and yellow dry raisins if you see this kheer it comes out very nice and thick and with that color of carrot so we have to keep stirring so our pearl millet and carrot vermicelli kheer is ready once it's almost finished let us also add carrot juice we have about 30 ml of reduced carrot juice this carrot juice gives a real authentic good aroma of carrot then let me also finish with a little cardamom powder what is important in a kheer is to finish you want to say that it's ready it has to have a final bubbling in the kheer
So pearl millet carrot vermicelli kheer is ready. Let us now present it. So I want to add some saffron to give a nice flavor and a look. So pearl millet carrot vermicelli kheer is a very good dessert, healthy dessert, diabetic friendly and low GI dessert. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel.